Yo, what's good, y'all, man? We got Daredevil Disney Plus series official announcement, Marvel Studio Phase Five. So, um, yeah, a lot of news been happening left and right all week. You know what I'm saying? All week long, man. You feel me? Since Monday, I know I said no. Nah, I said since Tuesday, everything been. You know, they've been telling everything. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? What's going to happen in the, you know in the future with all these shows, movies, all that shit. You know what I mean? Type shit. But um, yeah. Like, sub, and, um, yeah, let's get it. Type shit. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, a.k.a. Allfires, and it would appear, after their huge presentation earlier this week, that there are still many more official reveals to come from Marvel Studios, breaking with... Oh, this is all coming from the, the uh, presentation? Damn, they, talk, they, they say a lot. That's what's up, though. Within the last up. hour earlier this afternoon, from one of the most trusted Hollywood trades, confirming that Daredevil is headed to Disney Plus and on his own series. We're going to break down exactly where this came from, read through the details in the article. They also announced the writers. We're also going to talk so about... Is it going to be a movie or is it going to be a show? Probably a show is on Disney Plus, but sometimes Disney Plus do... Nah, they usually be on theaters, though. But they do... I mean, but they do be movies on Disney Plus, too, so... We we'll see, we we'll see what they way on, where gonna be at. Talk about some of the rumors that have led up to this confirmation and where we may see him next, leading into his own series. We're breaking down. Ah, uh, they say then, it's a show then. On everything, Daredevil now confirmed to be heading in his own series to Disney Plus. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're doing daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider scoop and stories like we're covering today everything in between so if that sort of things for you hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below that'll automatically enter you to win our ongoing ps5 giveaway which we are right around the corner from the next one if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there okay so this breaking within the last hour from variety and while i always tell you guys to take everything that's not official from marvel studios with a grain of salt variety is one of the most trusted industry yeah of course i always do street insider <laughs> trade so we can trust this headline as good as confirmed quote daredevil disney plus series in the works with Matt Corman, Chris Ord, set to write exclusive. They go on to report, quote, a new Daredevil series is moving forward at Disney Plus with Variety having exclusively learned from sources that Matt Corman and Chris Ord are attached to write and executive produce. They then go on to point oh, okay, out, of course, okay. that Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio, Daredevil and Kingpin, respectively, from the original Netflix series, which is now on Disney Plus, both appeared in recent Marvel projects. Cox showed up in Spider-Man No. The way yeah. home reprising the role of daredevil and of course vincent d'onofrio was seen in the most recent hawkeye series yeah. reprising so, his role of so we already know both of them is definitely gonna be in that that, that show daredevil kingpin we also know both are set to show up again in, yeah. in the recently announced echo series for disney plus for oh, yeah, original character echo. in the hawkeye yeah. series we also know that that just went to production as well then they go on to comment about corman and ord that they've written for several projects including cover affairs the enemy within They've opened an investigation into your connection with the death of Conrad Roy. But I didn't do anything wrong. There are texts. In and the Brave, but reps for both Corman and Ord, quote, declined to comment. And of course, Marvel Studios reps do not comment on projects while they're still in development. That's been their long holding policy for quite a while. Big facts. Now, the rumors of Daredevil headed to his own project at Disney Plus have been around actually since late last year, since we officially saw him in Spider-Man No Way Home, though. They picked up a ton of steam. This really just feels like the icing on the cake. You wouldn't get this character back after the success of his solo show on Netflix, start making a pop-up in the MCU, and then not ever use him in his own series, considering the weight of that character. Yeah, hey, nah, I'd be dumb as hell if they did that shit. Nah, they ain't gonna do that shit, though. They gonna bring him back. <laughs> you feel me? You know what I'm saying? That'd be dumb as hell they bring him back in Spider-Man No Home and then not his own show. Nah, that'd be dumb as hell. If they did that, that'd be dumb as hell, though. No cap. But we do know of at least two cameos places he's set to show up as Daredevil between now and then, one of which I just mentioned, the Echo series, considering how integral he is to her character and the common foe in the Kingpin, it only makes sense. The second of which, something set to be released this year, She-Hulk, whose trailer just dropped earlier oh, yeah. this week as well. Yeah, that'd be the same. He's gonna be in She-Hulk. Many industry insiders have said he'll show up in the series, some even specifically pointing to the penultimate or finale of the series, basically the last two episodes, as his place for his cameo. 
Neo, but regardless, of course they're going to use Daredevil as much as they can in the MCU and where it makes sense. And for a legal comedy, the other prominent lawyer in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is, of course, Matt Murdock. Now, amongst the ton of industry mm -hmm. insider reporting and rumor mill regarding the show before its confirmation today via Variety, there have been several reports that as many of the original cast members as possible will be retaining their roles, much in the way we're hearing about a ton of the Defenders also showing up in the MCU in the next year or so on Disney+. Oh, okay, okay. Disney Plus but also that it may be a soft reboot of the character. This coming from Charlie Cox himself when talking about where Marvel Studios goes from here, explaining that it may not be right for them to pick up exactly where they let off with the character, more of a soft reboot or going forward with the characters without looking back, not worrying too much about what was set up or not set up, done or already done on Netflix. I, I think that makes sense. It doesn't sort of shoehorn or harness Marvel Studios or the creatives in any certain way. And while yes, those series will coexist on Disney Plus, so it would, oh, okay. would be a little odd if you watch completely fresh to the project Daredevil 1, 2, and 3 from Netflix, then go into season 4, and it's a completely different thing, but I think that's the best way forward anyway. Again, it doesn't really tie them to anything we know of those shows and the setup for those characters, but it's a loose connection, and I expect with their soft reboot, that's how they'll treat it the way they have already with these two characters, or seemingly so. If we get an overarching explanation, or if they just say that they were loosely connected anyway and they are of the same timeline without really addressing it, I don't think too many Marvel fans are going to be upset about that either. But I do hope to understand how some of these characters interacted with the snap and the blip. And with the earlier report today, I did a video on it, I'll make sure to link it at the end of this, that they were actually going to set Secret Invasion during the blip between Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Yeah, it seems I have Marvel saying, Studios uh, is still intent on exploring that, how it relates to characters and the MCU. So I definitely want to know about that as it applies to Daredevil. Also, Marvel Studios making sure to make room for a more violent content in nature with their most recent updates to guidelines and parental controls. That's my other hope for this show, and I know a lot of you guys are going to agree with me. Characters like Daredevil and Punisher, those original shows were so visceral and so violent, and really it was the way that they shot the violent nature of Daredevil that made that show so awesome. Yeah, it was the long one-scene cuts where they would do the hallway fight scenes. There was one every season that was just so cool and definitely right out of the comics and i want them to continue that on disney plus of course they may try to tone it down some especially for characters like the punisher it's very hard for me to imagine that original punisher netflix series showing up on disney plus done by them but there's plenty of room for him in an ensemble in the mcu and we have never seen daredevil alongside other marvel heroes yet i cannot wait for that moment on the silver screen disney plus appearances or not I can't wait to see him in the bigger picture alongside some of these heroes. Uh, some of them just haven't gotten their due. Uh, another huge one is Wolverine, but only time will tell for when all this guys comes to fruition. Slowly, it's getting there. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down <laughs> below. Comments, of course, I know you're all hyped to see Charlie Cox back as Daredevil. I know there is, yep. there is no release date set for this yet. If it hasn't even gotten its script written, that means they haven't moved on from there. It's going to be a while before this shows up. Yeah, it's going to be a long time. Nope. Yeah. On Disney Plus, but let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's jump into the game. Yeah, it's gonna be a while though, but at least we know like it's official. You know what I mean? They got executives, they got writers, and everything. So at least we know it's official though. You know what I mean, y'all? At least we know. But hey, like it up, sub, y'all, and uh, yeah, I right. peace.